Hi everyone, welcome to Bharat Jain D365. So today, let's try to understand inventory valuation with FIFO methodology. When I say FIFO, so it is nothing but first in, first out. So let's take an example. Let's say I am purchasing a material on 1st Jan, let's say 10 quantity with a cost of 100. And on 15th Jan, let's say I'll purchase another 15 quantity with a cost price of let's say 150 now when i do sales on 16th jan so first 10 quantity will be at a price of 100 let's say i'm selling 12 so the first 10 quantity will be at a price of 100 and the next two quantity will be at a price of 150 because this is the first quantity which I purchased and this is the second lot of quantity which I purchased. So as per FIFO, which is first in first out, so the first 10 quantity is based on this and the next quantities will be from this lot. So that is how FIFO methodology will be calculated. Now that we understood what is FIFO, let's see how this calculation works in D365. Let's take an example the same example which we discussed. So I have purchased a 10 quantity on 1st of Jan at a price of 100 which cost amount of 1000 and on 15th Jan I have purchased a quantity of 15 at a price of 150. Now in D365 what system does is initially when I post a transaction system is going to calculate based on average cost and there is something called as recalculation that is inventory recalculation whenever i run my inventory calculation only then system adjusts that cost to fifo cost so as per the initial example which we discussed system is not going to calculate cost on this basis system is going to calculate cost based on the average cost so how average cost is calculated with this example Let's say my total cost amount is 3250 and my total available quantity is 25. So total cost divided by total quantity that will become my average cost. So in this case my average cost is 130. So let's just go to D365. So I have already created a product. So let's go to release products. So let me pick an item and click on on and inventory so click on transactions so here as i explained in the excel sheet i have created two purchase orders so for po1 with quantity 10 and unit price of 100 which comes 2000 cost on 1st of jan and on 15th of jan i created another purchase order with 15 quantity which cost amount to 2250 now as per this if i post a sales now and let's say I am oh, I want to sell for 12 quantity. So as per this system has to calculate average cost. My average cost is 130. So let's say price will be 130. So my cost amount that will be deducted if I do a sales at this point of time should be 1560. So let's go to D365. Let's post one sales order. So system has to post sales order with the cost price of 1560 so let's go and post one sales order and so just to reiterate i am posting a sales order before running my inventory recalculation so anytime when i post a sales order even though my methodology is free for system is going to post sales based on average cost okay so my average cost should be this, that is 1560, even though I'm going with 12 quantities and with FIFO methodology. So let's go and create one sales order. So to create a sales order, go to accounts, receivable, orders, all sales orders, click new. Okay, let me quickly fill the details. Let me select the customers, click OK. So let me select the product so the product that i have created for example or batteries so i am going to select batteries let's change the quantity to 12 quantity so here my sales price uh, let's give it around 
170 or 180 whatever price you want you can give it so i'm going to sell at 2160 save so let's go ahead and post the packing slip for this particular sales order so click post packing slip so these are my lines in the packing slip so i can see here 12 quantity net amount of 2160 and then click ok so this will post my packing slip click ok so it is posted click on packing slip click on vouchers so before it opens if i come back here just to take it slowly so this is the purchase order which i have posted and there are two POs with a cost price of 3250 average cost of 130 so at this point of time if i push my sales order so any quantity you pick it it will be based on the average cost so as for the average cost calculation my cost amount should be 1560 so this is my voucher sales order you can see here the cost of goods delivered it is 1560 it is based on average cost so after posting my sales based on the average cost let's run our inventory recalculation there is something called as inventory recalculation so once i run inventory recalculation my cost will be changed from average to fifo cost will be modified to fifo okay so let's understand that in the system before running inventory recalculation so my sales cost was based on this 1560 now let's say fifo because system has to change to fifo if i say 12 quantity here as per my fifo let's understand the fifo so as per fifo which is first in first out that means if i take here i want to, i have sold 12 quantities so i have purchased 10 quantity first so my first 10 quantity will be based on 100 which is 1000 my next two quantity which is 12 minus 10 that is two quantity it will be based on the second lot of quantity which i have purchased at a price of 150 so it will be 150 which is nothing but 300 so as per fifo my total cost should be 1100 sorry 300 1300 so as per fifo the cost should be 1300 so what is the difference between these two i have sold or i have posted a sales order at a cost price of 1560 minus as per FIFO, it should be 1300. So, the difference of 260 will be posted to my cost once I run inventory recalculation. So, before we execute inventory recalculation, let's post the sales order invoice. So, let me quickly post the invoice. So, click on the invoice. Just go back. Invoice and generate invoice verify the lines and click ok so this is to generate my invoice so my invoice is posted so let's come back to my inventory transaction just to refresh if i see here i have posted or sold 12 quantity at a cost price of 1560 but as per my fifo it should be 1300 so the remaining 260 quantity should be adjusted here so before running it is 1560 so let's run our inventory recalculation so to run inventory recalculation we should go to inventory management we go to periodic task and then closing and adjustment so this is where we run our recalculation so click on recalculation so i am going to run recalculation as on 15th jan if you want to run on a specific product you can select that let's say filter so we will run on the product which we just created so that is batteries select that and click ok and then let's click ok yes so i've added to the batch queue just refresh you can see line will be created uh, it is in the execution mode so you can see it's still executing let's wait for it to complete it 
So once the inventory recalculation has finished, you can see a tick mark under OK. So my recalculation is posted. So after recalculation posting, that means system has to calculate it based on free flow. So there should be a difference amount of 260 which should be adjusted. So to see the transaction posted after the recalculation, click on details and then click on voucher. This is where we can see the voucher details. So here you can see my finished goods is debited by 260 and cost of finished product is reduced by 260. First, the 260 amount is coming from the difference between average cost and free for cost which is 260. As per free for cost, only 1300 should have been hit my costing. But as per average cost it was 1560. So I have to reduce the cost by 260 and therefore my cost is reduced by 260 and that 260 is added back to my finished goods. Now if I go back to my inventory transaction, so this was 1560 which was deducted before or running recalculation. After recalculation, if I refresh, the cost will be back to 1300. That is based on my fee for. This is how system is going to calculate my fee for cost. So thumb rule is even though my inventory calculation method is fee for, initially system is going to calculate on average cost and after running inventory recalculation, system is going to calculate based on the fee for and the difference amount will be posted after inventory recalculation. I hope this is clear. That's it for today's video. Thanks everyone.